from the admin side, Share Cluster has a set of tabs. First one is for the Share Cluster options, the websites that you will go to to pick up remote content and bring it back to your machine, your install of WordPress. It has reporting, what website they clicked from, their cluster, and the date and time. Most of these items are hyperlinked and what you can do is click on one of the hyperlinks of the remote user destination clicked from our cluster and see what activity happens specific to that qualifier. You can also click the reset button to go back to the baseline view and see what it looks like originally. Uh, support where there's handy links through to support information so that way if you have a question or have a concern or a bug let us know and we'll help you out documentation which will be the video series you're seeing here as well as other screenshots and the license key that once you've used it you don't need to use it again. So when you have share cluster on one system the next thing you have to do is take share cluster and install it onto a different system on somebody else's on another WordPress install that you have admin rights to. So in this case I've already installed this. A share cluster has two things it needs from a remote site you're going to bring over and make local. It needs a source and it needs what's called a public key. The public key is something that can be seen because what this is doing is publishing information that you want to see published in public anyways. So the public key isn't very high risk so if it's available for review it's not the worst thing in the world. In this case I take the URL of the remote site, the public key, which just allows negotiation so you can get those pieces and because I want these two sites to talk to each other, I'm going to return the favor and take the URL from child.wherecanibuyanything and put it on the sherry.wherecanibuyanything. So that way the two of them can have shared information they are passing back and forth with each other. Now you notice that in addition to pages, posts, media, uh, share cluster adds in something called shared posts. Shared posts are proper post types, content types, but what they usually will serve as is content for a widget. So in this case, I'm just calling it a, our banner. I'm choosing a dimension. Dimension is a way you can segregate and say that some shares are of one particular type. Others are different. So if you have um, a skyscraper ad versus a half banner ad, it allows you to make your choices. So in this case, I'm going to upload a file that I have on my desktop. And there it is uh, in the media attachments because I'm going to attach it and post it into the share post. I'm going to change it up so I'm going to make it from media file link to a custom URL, put a link to the sean.dewolf.bc.ca site, and leave it as a full size piece. While it's supposed to be 160 by 600 in this case, I cheated a little, made it a 120 by 400 but it's defined as being a 160 by 600 skyscraper. So you can play with what that does. So you can see that's what the banner looks like. It's not very remarkable, but it's, um, it's a share cluster ad. Now, if I went back over to my originating site, to the widgets, I can make a widget and drop in one of the share cluster widgets. Share cluster comes with the ability to share a specific widget. So if it remote or it updates on a remote site or your site, <clears throat> it will catch up with it. You can also put in random widgets, and the random widgets can um, be defined by what their size is, or if they're wholly random, or if they're one of a specific set of posts. So you can say that a region only rotates three posts that you know from coming from other sites that you want to show off. So in this case. This shows off my Sean link. When I update and pull from child, the local copy is going to have the post that was pulled from the remote site, but in addition to that, it's also going to bring over the media and put the media there available to be associated with that post. What this means is that if you have a number of posts and media that goes with them and have them replicated on each website, should one website go down, 
it's not going to affect that content, such as the media, uh, as opposed to if you had to phone to a remote site and get the media for each call. Now, what it's doing is it's making the local media as available as the local website where it's seen. In this case, on the Sherry dot, where can I buy a car online? I'm putting in a remote widget, and I can use all shared content, or just the ones of the sizes I have available, or a specific banner. So it gives you those choices. You scroll down here, and it can show you that the content from the remote site is actually sitting on this site. So it's been shared between the websites in the cluster.